Hey Nintendo fanboys and fangirls, this is BWA Switch here again bringing you a 20 minute game preview on behalf of Nintendo World Report and Nintendo Chit Chat. And today we're going to be doing One Night Stand. Special thanks again to Rattleleka Games for providing the code. So I think this is going to be one of those visual novel type romance. Just like from first glance that's what the impression I get. And I've never played one of those so I'm pretty excited. So let's go ahead and start. Alright, to, so to save in one night stand, select save game from the pause menu and choose a slot. Okay. Ugh. My head. My stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. Ugh, what's that noise? My phone? Where is my phone? To search around the room, bring up the cursor using left stick or gyroscope. Okay, so I can't really see that well. Is that a phone? Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna not see in well. I have glasses. <laughs> Shh, shut up, phone. Mate, what the hell happened to you last night? So this is like British or Australian, maybe? Gary, what does he want? Oh yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy with me, though. Should I respond? Of course, don't leave people hanging. I have no idea, but I've woken up with a banging hangover. You? Low battery. Crap, my phone is about to die. I'd better plug it in before the battery runs out. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. That's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am I... I'm completely naked. Um. Whoa! <laughs> Who is she? Why am I in her bed? Did did we hook up? This must be her room. I hope this is her room. But who is she? Mm -hmm. Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you and you wander off after round one after one round? What the hell? Gary ditched his date and I ditched him? Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. Hmm, if Gary knew about the situation I was in. He might be able to laugh it off or give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? Yeah, cause you're like confused otherwise. Me? I'm really sorry about last night, but I've just woken up in some girl's bed. Hopefully Gary can shed some light on this situation. Mm -hmm. Ha, bullshit. You're crap at pulling, mate. You're going to need a better excuse than that. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. Shit. I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Leaving Gary seems to ring a bell, but... 
I don't even know who this girl lying next to me is, and where the heck am I? This is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. Ugh, this hangover is not helping. Well, if Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. It would definitely shut him up. What should I do? I don't know. Like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> She's going to wake up as soon as you take it. So I'm going to say don't take a photo. I'm not going to stoop to that. Gary can think whatever the hell he wants. Ah, shit. My phone died anyway. That was a really fast 5%. It must be an iPhone. <laughs> and I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do now? Wake her up, go back to sleep, get out of here. I want to go back to sleep. That's what I personally would do. Guess I'll just kick back and wait for this whole thing to blow over. Unless she also goes back to sleep every time and then you just like sleep forever because no one wants to wake up and be awkward. Alright, well anyway, uh, I could use some more sleep anyway. I can't sleep now. I mean, who is? Ah, what the... Uh, what? Did she just throw the covers over me? I guess, or something happened. Earthquake, I don't know. She's gone? Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. I wonder if she wants me to leave. Oh, she's got like a book. I just want to like look in it. It's a romance novel. <laughs> Alright. Eyes of Embrace. The synopsis reads, Daisy Dutton escapes her humble country roots to find true love in a city. Bustling with single bachelors, but it'll take more than this country girl's charm to overcome. The modern day conveniences of online dating and Tinder hookups. It even says it was a summer bestseller. It sounds trashy, intriguing, or fantastic. I don't know. To me, it kind of sounded a little bit boring. I guess I'll say intriguing, though. Intriguing with a period, not with an exclamation. Maybe I should ask her about this. It might be worth a read. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so I'm not going to go through her personal stuff, obviously. Some wine. That might help with the hangover, but I shouldn't really drink someone's wine. A picture? This is a photo. Oh, she's with someone else. Cause I thought that was her parents at first, but it's not. Is this the girl? The one I woke up next to? She looks young. I hope this is an old photo. I wonder who the guy is. They seem close. Maybe he died. I don't this photo seems to mean a lot to her anyway. Maybe I should ask her about it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Alright, what's on the mirror? It's a mirror. How do I look? I just wanted to see the stuff on there. Well, I may feel like crap, but I've certainly seen worse. She certainly has a lot of stuff stuck onto this. If I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. What's this? There are loads of gig tickets, too. Two of these haven't even been used yet. I wonder who she's planning on taking with her. Is she coming back? Yeah. Oh, hey. Er, what should I say? Um, I guess... Hey? <laughs> Um, sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. Obviously not, I'm still here. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers. Sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to dash to the bathroom. I see. Is everything okay? Um, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. Have you been awake long? 
Not really. I was woken up by my phone buzzing. Uh, I wondered what that was. It woke me up too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, this is uncomfortable. Think of something to talk about. Romance novel, photograph, or forget it. Oh boy. Those are both awkward things to bring up right now. I guess there wouldn't be anything good. But I do want to know about this more and it's just a game so I'll pick it. That's a nice photo you have there. Oh, you mean the one by the mirror? Yeah, the one with the guy stood behind, beside you. I wonder who he is. Her dad, her boyfriend, or a relative. Like, I thought it was her parents at first, until it was closer, and it was young people. I'll just say a relative, because that's not like quite so specific. Is he a relative of yours? Yeah, that's my big bro. Oh, okay, okay. I think I must have been about 17 when that photo was taken. Really? He wasn't always around when I was growing up. He was usually touring around the country with his band. This photo was taken when I went to see him on his band's last ever show. Uh oh, did he actually die? Maybe I should have asked her something more relevant. But what? This all feels awkward as hell. Ask about time, hangover, her, dot dot dot. I guess I'll ask her. I feel like I should know more about her. But to directly ask, I don't think she'd be too happy with me. Er, nice apartment you have here. <laughs> oh, thanks. I share with my flatmates. That didn't help much. What's up? You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? I feel terrible. It's just a hangover. I'm alright. I'll say it's just a hangover. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised. You already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. <laughs> quite a few drinks? Didn't Gary say I only had one round? Um, <laughs> I'm going to get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Painkillers, coffee, or nothing? I'll say coffee. Yeah, coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Is that okay? Sure, I'll go put the kettle on. I hope you don't mind instant. How do you take it? Black, white, or fancy? Oh, these are some weird choices. Cause, I mean, I'm guessing black, I mean, I'm guessing white is cream and sugar. I don't know what fancy is. <laughs> with milk, please. Oh, I guess fancy would be with sugar too. All right, whatever. Ah, nice choice, just how I like it. One minute. Oh, she does not have her pants on yet. Okay, she's gone. I've got to try and keep it cool. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Ugh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems... Cool, nice, or weird. I guess I'll say... Cool, because I'm a dude, I think. She seems cool. Still, I don't even know her name. Like, what if I just left now? Guitar. That's a nice guitar. I think I still remember how to play a few chords. Should I play her guitar? I don't think so. That'd be kind of rude. I'll leave it alone. This isn't the time for that. She's got more books. An introduction to English literature. English literature and context. The rest of these look like textbooks around the same subject. I guess she's studying English literature at college or university. There's also some DVDs. And she comes back. Here. Thanks, it smells good. Hey, I hope you like it strong. It's great, thanks. Are you holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Er, uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Good. Mm, what should I talk about? Guitar, romance novels, study books, forget it. I'll say the guitar. 
Er, I like your guitar. Thanks. My brother gave it to me for my birthday a few months ago. I'm teaching myself, so I only know how to play a few chords at the moment. Hmm, what should I ask about? Musical style, guitar, or request a song? I'll say musical style. What style of music do you play? I like lots of music, but I'm a huge fan of 80s rock. That bar we went to last night played tons of classics. I've dabbled in writing my own songs too, but they're a work in progress. It feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> oh, that's encouraging. Maybe she doesn't remember either. You know, I think I owe you my thanks. Thanks? I was feeling pretty down last night. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Though it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet, and then he doesn't even show up. What an asshole. Okay, I think I can assume the asshole she's talking about isn't me. <laughs> I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you did. You saw I was down, bought me a drink, and cheered me up. I did? <laughs> yeah, I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listened to me go on and on about that dating app. Dishbag. Haha. <laughs> so thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Hmm, so she got stood up last night. And we must have met after that. Maybe I was just a shoulder for her to cry on, although I did end up here. Whatever the case, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night, a little. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a good night in the end, although I think my mate's a bit pissed with me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar his bro recommended. I think. <laughs> Gary? Huh? Um, it's nothing. Oh, they said, he said in the text that he ditched a date to go on the pub crawl. That's probably the name of the guy that ditched her. Hold on, which bar? Uh-oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Which bar did you go to with your friends? The Stray Sheep, Heartbeats Bar, or I don't remember. I'll just be honest. Mm. Hmm? I have no idea. Whoa, what? You don't even remember the bar you were at with your friends? Uh, that's the first place you went. You mustn't remember anything then. Wait, do you even remember my name? Er, oh my god. This is humiliating. Hmm, so you don't remember anything. Uh, no. Maybe I can fill you in with what I know. Please do. Please do, it would help. Well, I was waiting at the bar in the Paradox nightclub around 10 p.m. I'd been waiting there a while. Paradox, huh? I was pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. We had a round together and then got chatting. We found a secluded spot and got to know each other, although Paradox got louder as the night went on. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. But things soon began to get pretty fuzzy. I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. 
Somehow we grabbed a taxi and I guess we ended up here. Hmm, okay, and then I'm just gonna say okay. That's kind of weird to ask. That's all I recall anyway. As for you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. No worries. Thanks for helping me fill in some blanks. It's helped a little, but uh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. Hmm. There's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. Alright, and with that, that's gonna be 20 minutes of gameplay. So yeah, I really like this also. I know I've been liking all the games so far, but they are very good. Like, I really like Radalika games. They've had three so far that I really liked. And this one, I was immersed as soon as I turned on the game. So yeah, I've never really played anything like this. It's kind of like a first person type thing. And that's really interesting. So yeah, if this is something you guys would be interested in, it's on the eShop. Definitely go take a look, check it out, and play along with. I can't wait to see what happens next. So again, on behalf of Nintendo Chit Chat, Nintendo World Report, this is BWA Switch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!